Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, I need a doorknob, but it only needs to be half a doorknob. Can you do that? Well, sure I can. There you go, one half doorknob. Please to be of service. Oh, oh, I humor myself sometimes. So today I'm gonna talk about half doorknobs. What? <laughs> Half door nubs, or otherwise known as oh, Le Communicating Lock with TT. That is not the bathroom TT, that is, I will show you in a minute. Communicating locks. Communicating locks are ridiculous. I mean, communicating locks are used for rooms where you have like hotel rooms and there's a door between the two rooms so that if you want to unlock the door I don't know really know why they're used presumably they're used for this so that you can have a half of a doorknob <clears throat> uh, where you can open the door from one side but you cannot from the other and be able to lock it so that only like the hotel management can open the room so if you if you say you know I need a room uh, can I get an adjoining room and the hotel has the communicating lock the wall deal, which a lot of them don't anymore, but back in the day, you would see this more frequently. Um, so the hotel would come in and go to the doorknob side and take the key, and I'm pretty sure they will all communicate a uh, classroom function, which I'll take, talk about that briefly. So they would uh, stay locked, so they would just come in and unlock it. So this way the guests could open and close the door as necessary. And on the other side, there was typically a, just a flat plate. Because there is, while there are deadbolts, in fact, Schlieg made some, while there are deadbolts that are half deadbolts that do not require drilling all the way through, uh, it's 2018 and I don't think we've still come up with a way. Shorty, well, yeah, 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 I take that back. Baldwin, you could do, you could probably do it with Baldwin. But you almost have to have a through hole in the door. And these are made to replace a regular lock. So uh, the only reason really I can see these would be useful because if you have the doorknob on the other side, somebody else could always walk in. But I'm gonna talk about a little issue with those too. Uh, but there are double key locks. I'm actually gonna do another video on that. Um, but they're way more expensive than these were. Way, way more expensive. And plus, there are issues with fire code, so those are, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not an expert, but whatever. So, classroom function, first off. Entrances, you know, you push the button, turn the key, and it unlocks. Classroom is, for a classroom, you, uh, it's locked, and then you turn the key all the way around, or one way or another, and it unlocks the lock until you come back along and relock it with the key by either turning it all the way around or turning it one way or the other. Inside's always free. There's no push button for a kid to be able to lock the door from the inside. You have to have a key to lock the door uh, from the outside, obviously. I don't think we need this anymore, do we, huh? So that is a brief, uh, you know, classroom function. So along comes several companies, Schlage being more of one of the predominant ones that made a communicating lock. And what it is, is a A-series lock, just like this, your cylindrical, cylindrical lock style. However, they cut it in half and only made, made half of it. And it's classroom function, probably would be the only way it would work. And uh, there's no, absolutely no shoulder or anything. Otherwise, it's made basically the same. If you tear down a Schlage A-Series, which I've done in several videos, I'll put, put it right here, Schlage A-Series, you will see the A-Series tear down. This simply has a flat blocker plate that just stops it. 
Now there were two different kinds of these and I have not for the life of me figured out how this works. I haven't put a whole lot of time of my life into it, but with communicating locks, you have what you would expect. No, let's start with this one. You have what you would expect. The lock doo, 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 with the key. And these are, I'm sorry, A79PD. This is the Plymouth design. This is a orbit shape. We only got one of those. So you have your latch, you have your hole in the door, and you have your plate that goes on the other side with, now here's where this gets me, your latch and your strike plate and your screws. Now, this one, let's talk about this. This one happened to come with these screws. So this is good. This is the non-removable style screw. And it screws on just like an A-series lock. And after you get it tight on the door, you would come along and snap your plate on it. So in case you haven't already realized, you're like, wait a minute. Can I just unsnap that plate and take the lock off the door from the other side? Hello? Hello? Is anybody inside? Hello? Why, yes, you can. Okay, well, you know. Don't know what to say about that, but uh, the other thing that was made me curious was a few of these, and I don't know, they're all in the same boxes, same part numbers, same everything, but some of them had thumb turns for the inside, and the holes match up, but, and there's, uh, compared to, well, nothing else really, but it's got this little notch in there, so you would think this little notch right here maybe it would catch into something but i've got about six of these that had the thumb turns which was and there's different part numbers on the thumb turns got m91 something and m8804 but they're the they're the same thing <laughs> and there's no there's nothing here on any of the ones that I've got, I've got about six of these had the thumb turn, the rest have the caps. But on in all six of them, there was nothing, there's no way for this to catch anything. It's still just a smooth surface. Like that would have to have a, a projection in there, right? To make it withdraw the latch. So I don't, get that if anybody knows please tell me in the comments because i'm pretty knowledgeable on schlage but i've never figured that one out never figured that one out anyway so thumb turn obviously that would be pointless the only reason you would need this is maybe if you didn't want a doorknob hitting a wall or there was a flat area the door had to go back further so that it was flat I just, I don't understand the point of the thumb turn. So anyway, uh, you have uh, seen a brief presentation, and this is Jason's brief presentation on communicating locks, or one of them there half doorknobs. I need a half a doorknob. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, if you want to spend the money on it, these probably sell for about 130 each. I don't even know if they still sell these. I don't think they do. Obviously, I've got some box issues. And unfortunately, obviously, if I look in here, obviously, I have a couple with uh, finish issues. Ah, here's one. Uh, some of them got left in moisture and ruined a few of the finishes. Luckily that particular one's facing down, so you can't see it. Not bad, not bad. Um, anyway, yep, got a couple of uh, chrome ones, and like I said, the Orbit. 
So the Orbit's the only one I don't have keys for. To unlock these, if it's in the locked position and your latch is this way, you, it's locked, you turn it to the right, 360 and pull the key out, and it's unlocked. And to relock it, you turn it the other way. So let's take a quick little peek inside of one of these. How about it? How about it? And uh, the reason I want to take a quick peek inside one of these is because this is the only one. Ow! This is the only one I don't have keys for. And uh, I've tried picking it for a while. By the way, this was in the way when I was doing the. Uh, cleaning up deal. Scrap metal. Look at that. It's just a flat plate. <laughs> uh, but it should go back together really easily because there are very few components I have to deal with on the other side of it. Alright, let's see our classroom little mechanism. Oh, factory grease. Gotta love factory grease. So this is one reason why if you get door knobs that are new old stock that it's sometimes hard to deal with. It's because this grease, oh, oh, zoom, 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 there's so much in the background, so much in the background. But this is your new old stock problem right there. That grease has solidified into a good, nice little earwax consistency. So if you have a new old stock Thing, and this can really kind of gum up how well the lock works so if you have new old stock or if you have a chance to buy new old stock stuff ooh, look at this look at this I love these little mechanisms Let's see how does this work this looks like it spins what? it's like twister oh woo. So do to do to do to do do to do to do, 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 do. That must be the blocking pen for this doodad in here. Uh, all right, now I'm going to see if I can't get this apart pretty quick. Didn't mean for it to be a. Uh, like teardown video but it is what it is huh it is what it is it is now anyway wait did I already turn it oh man I already I already turned it <laughs> that's kind of nice actually huh sweet so anyway yeah, that was way quicker than sitting there picking it up. I've been picking it for a while. Ah. And uh, with the orbit function, Schlage orbit was always a little bit different than the uh, other ones because it had to have a longer cylinder. And it uses this little, the, the, just these use this, but entrance orbit uses a different little mechanism like that. And they use this little cylinder holder in it and that's what stabilizes the cylinder and this is what stabilizes it even further help I don't know so uh, we were able to uh, do this one pretty easy from the inside basically uh, that a lot of these don't work out like that but sometimes you can push it down and get it to turn without unscrewing it and as we see with it even in my hand right here i'm not able to to get it i think i got kind of lucky there but it is otherwise just a standard uh a series cylinder from a schlage which i'm going to go ahead and take apart and uh, rekey which is just a rekey that's not the point of the video so i'll be right back um, let's put it back together Typical flag cylinder, very tight tolerances. Sometimes they open right up, sometimes they don't. 
So I'm going to, oops, I'm going to put this bad boy back together. <coughs> Always a good idea to just go ahead and reassemble your knob and everything. Like before you put your knob back on, reassemble your inside. So this just uh, dropped down like so. So that little tab right there, presumably, present. Well, I'm stop talking here. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just checking something out. Trying to figure out what that does. Goes back and forth, so I bet you there is a slit. I guess so. I was trying to see where it actuated in here. I'm guessing it locks it in right there. I'm guessing. Educated guess, right? They're so greasy. So greasy. Okay. Let's put this back on. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I was looking to see how this little doodad here works. But presumably it locks down the knob in that notch right there. the turn and 360 pushes up huh okay enough of the mysteries of slag let's get this back together the mysteries of slag so yeah much easier to get back together because you don't have to fight the inside part, which is one of the hardest parts of that. Can't forget your little cutter pins. I think I've said this before, use the short on the lap side. Do the short leg of the cutter pin, because when you bend it out, the long side can interfere with the latch. And uh, that is it, guys. I am done talking about half doorknobs. I had pulled these out to get an idea on how many good ones I had. Now I have an idea. I've got a few good ones. I got a, I got a few. Plus, they all needed to go in their own boxes. So let's get this. See if it'll go back together. Will it? Will it go back together, Jason? Maybe. All right, come apart. What are you doing? What in the hell are you doing? Give me my doorknob. Huh. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, look what I did. I put the uh, I put the retainer pin on the wrong side. Let me fix that real quick. So that will get us back together like we are <laughs> supposed to be. And put our mechanism in like it is supposed to be. And back together. So anyway, that is it on the communicating series door locks. Thanks for watching, guys. If y'all have any questions or comments, eh, wear rubber gloves. Let me know. You don't have to cut off your door handle to make work. You can purchase one of these. They are not ex inexpensive. I don't even know if they're still commercially available. They may be. I don't know. Anyway, if y'all have any questions or comments, hit me up. And thanks for watching. Oh, peace. Y'all have a good one. Look at this outside. It's... Uh, Rainy. Anyway, communicating with TT. Don't use your TT.